Hey guys, what's going on? So finally I'm releasing the Scorpion video. I've had a lot of time to use him on defense, to attack with him. We've played through Eden. I've done Oblivions, Kill Events, Launch Centers, etc., etc. with Scorpion. Uh, and I'm finally able to kind of give a good estimate on how good Scorpion is, what skills you should go, what APCs you should do, Hopeness Lab, everything like that. So stay tuned in this video. Hope you guys enjoy and use your Scorpions out there. Stay tuned. Okay, so like I just said, I'll be talking about Scorpion in today's video. I've had him maxed for quite some time now. Um, we've used him a lot. <clears throat> first things first, I'm going to talk about his skills. I'm going to go over them briefly. They're kind of a little bit confusing to some people, um, so I'll just cover it very, very quickly. We'll get that out of the way so you'll understand kind of what you're working with in terms of Scorpion. So, Deadly Splash. When all allied squads cast combat skills, 50% chance to poison random enemy squad. Poison deals 100% damage, that's what the damage rate 100% means. It lasts two rounds and it can stack up to three times. So it stacks up to three layers, basically just meaning there can be three layers of poison on a single enemy. Now this was changed from the original launch. The original launch was when they cast skills, period. It's now been changed to combat skills and it has affected some of the combos, or rather some of the APCs that Scorpion goes with. Combat skills are the type up here so you can look at your skills there's status prep there's combat stuff like that so only skills that are labeled combat will trigger or there's a 50 percent chance when they're casted that it will trigger deadly splash deadly splash is basically this dude's bread and butter like deadly splash is basically everything you'll see it procced a billion times a game not literally but so often this 50 percent chance He's a huge, 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 huge RNG hero. If your team gets off a lot of combat skills, Scorpion's going to get off a lot of combat skills. If your luck is good, and you'll basically win the game. If not, if this 50% chance, you, you're just not getting your, you know, you're, you're not getting heads, you're getting tails every time. Unfortunately, uh, you're probably going to lose. Now, his fifth ability, Corrosive Swamp, each layer of poison poison on enemy squads will reduce the damage they deal by 20 percent and again there's three layers you can stack up to three layers so that's 60 percent damage reduction max if you get those three layers stacked up on an enemy and their healing effect is reduced by 30 percent and again you can stack that up to three times up to 100 percent meaning they can't heal so this is insane um corrosive swamp is just crazy this is a prep skill meaning it happens at round zero so it's always active you cannot get rid of it there aren't skills in the game where you can like cleanse this or nothing like that so corrosive swamp crazy crazy op if you get those layers of poison stacked they basically deal no damage and they can't heal so what else can they do pretty much nothing his awaken he gets hp HP plus 15, which is incredible. It makes him very, very tanky, even though he has no reason being this tanky. His seventh, plus 40% might to shooters, and his eighth ability is poisonous grenade. 50% chance to poison a random enemy squad, so he can synergize with himself. This is a combat skill. This damage deals 180%, so just a little bit more than the, than the average poison. It lasts two rounds, and it is stackable with the other poisons, so such as this. It's stackable with Deadly Splash. Meanwhile, so additionally is really what it should say, 50% chance to make it enter the suppressed state lasting one round. This just means a 50% chance to suppress. I don't know why they say so many words to just say 50% chance to suppress, but that's what it is. It's just a 50% chance to suppress. Crazy, suppression is the best CC in the game. It prevents you from auto attacking or from basic attacking, from using skills, from basically doing anything. So suppression is amazing. Um, this isn't that important. You're the like the the fifty percent chance to poison a random enemy squad. The reason why it's good is because it applies to this layer crap, and then it basically applies to a corrosive swamp. So that's why you want it. The damage on this is not that important or not that impressive, really. Um, One eighty damage is okay, I guess. Um, for two turns, it's really three sixty on a fifty percent, so it's not bad but it's whatever. So that's about Scorpion skills. Basically, it, he just bursts you with poison. He just stacks up a 
crap ton of poison. It'll do damage. Like, if you have three stacks of poison, let's say two, I don't know, one stack is poisonous grenade, so 180, and then you have two stacks of deadly splash, so 200. That's 380, quick math times two because they last for two rounds i mean it's 760 and you can basically have that on multiple heroes you can have that on like all three not literally all three heroes but you can have it on quite a few heroes especially if your apc has other heroes that deal a lot of combat skills and so i'll get into that right now so let's talk about the apcs with scorpion now i'm going to give you just the main apcs he is incredibly versatile you can pretty much pair most Season X heroes, or like rather most good heroes in the game. So like whether that's, you know, the Season 3 good heroes or the Season X good heroes, you can pretty much just pair them with this guy and they're going to do very, very well. The most common, most frequent APC, don't worry about the troop types, that's not what's important. I mean, if you don't know, I'll show them, but it's never really important about the troop types. Siren, Scarlet Siren... Scorpion and then Dawn in the back row or you can put Dawn I mean Scorpion in the back row and Switch your troops and blah blah blah. Like I said, don't worry about the troop types But this formation and in this order is very very common the reason why you wouldn't put Scorpion in the back So Dawn can Dawn actually has some snowy has some interesting effects where she'll basically make the front row tankier But the reason why you don't do this is because Anna Huntress Nomad. I mean Anna Huntress Sorry, Anna Predator Huntress combos just absolutely are going to destroy uh, Scorpion. So generally, you put him in the middle. This combo is insane. It does so much damage. It deals insane amounts of damage for who they are. They're fairly tanky because Scarlet Siren is a fighter. Fighters, by default, have more base resistance. They're, they're just stronger units in terms of defense. Scorpion makes the enemy team deal no damage because of his fifth ability they can't heal because of his fifth ability they get suppressed because of his fifth ability and they're just going to basically dot meaning damage over time they're going to deal dot damage dot damage scarlet siren's going to burn them scorpion's going to poison them and eventually they're just going to die and then snowy basically just heals everybody keeps them all alive and happy and well she uses combat skills Scarlet Siren uses combat skills. It's going to trigger Scorpion's second ability. It's just it's just insane. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen some crazy, 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 crazy battle reports where people are killing like 20 million power, you know, in Eden. Stuff, just, just absolutely insane stuff. Um, unfortunately, all my battle reports disappear, but you can see uh, stuff like this is, is pretty cool. So I'm going to go over it. Very quickly, this is feedback from you guys. You wanted to see him in actual battle, these heroes in battle. So right here, Deadly Splash, I already applied three stacks of Deadly Splash just because of the combat skills used by my other team. So already they have poison on them. Boom, just another one because I used Poisonous Grenade. That's going to suppress the front row target. It's, that's the eighth ability right there. I have four stacks of poison currently operating right there, that 19,716 comes from that poison the fire attack comes from scarlet siren you saw that eleven thousand more poison i just added three more there's seven stacks of poison it, the round two has just begun uh this stuff is really 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 crazy they're going to be basically deal no damage and they're just going to take damage uh pretty much just whenever so We'll speed it up a little bit. That's kind of how the how the game goes. Your team uses combat skills. He uses deadly splash, as you just saw there. It applies poison. You can't actually see how many stacks of poison, but you just saw it did 27,000. And boom, 46,000. Two more deadly splashes. I mean, it, it. some of these battle reports just get insane. And we'll just kind of roll this one out. I mean, th these are just against, obviously, these zombies or whatever. But uh, you get the point. It, crazy damage, crazy deadly splashes in these combos. And that's not just strictly with this particular combo. But anyway, let's look. He did 19 skills, did 131,000 skill kills. Again, it's just against zombies, so it's nothing like insane. But that, that, that can be an actual battle report, which is disgusting. So anyway, that's one combo. That's the main combo. I spent a lot of time talking about it because it's 
probably the best or one of the best combos with Scorpion, and people are seeing it everywhere. The main question people are going to have is how the hell do I counter this stupid combo? And I will give you that exclusive tip right now. So Huntress in the middle. There you go. That's basically all you need to know. Kill Scorpion right away. You'll win. Or at least you'll have uh, you'll win most of the time. You're not obvious. You're not always going to win, which is kind of mind-boggling. If you pair her, pair her up with Anna, it's even better. Kami, Huntress, Anna. This combo is going to beat this here fairly regularly. Other ways to beat this are by using other Scorpion combos, and I'll show you that. But generally, Huntress in the middle. That's how you guys are going to take down this combo. If you're not doing that, if you're putting like the problem is most people are going to be running Anna Huntress, sorry, Anna Predator Huntress. This combo is going to going to defeat it because Snowy is just going to counter the Huntress in the back row. And then you you're kind of just dead by Scorpion because by the time by the time Huntress is actually going to start attacking the front row, Scarlet's Iron, Scorpion's already layered his poison on her. She's going to be dealing uh, less than optimal damage. So, there you go. There's the there's the there's the hidden technique right there. You got the AO exclusive 10 minutes in for those of you who are sticking with it. Appreciate y'all. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, you can start defending against this absolute monster of a hero because I often see it. Now, that's about that. Let's talk about some more quality APCs. The second APC that I really, really like to run, and some some run it, but it's not that it's not as common as the Scarlet Dawn one. Heaven's Redemption, Scorpion, Cannon S. Again, Scorpion in the middle because of Huntress just will eat them alive. If they're defending with Kami Huntress, you just put them in the back and then, you know, have, have yourself a hell of a time. Anyway, this combo works really, really, really well for kind of the same reasons. Cannon S uses a lot of combat skills. She basically has one every single turn, like guaranteed. I mean, unless she's CC'd or something like that. So she does a lot. She procs a lot of combat skills. Heaven's Redemption also procs a lot of combat skills. He gives buffs and debuffs, similar kind of to, to, to Scorpion. And this combo works really, really well. This combo can actually beat the Scarlet combo that I just showed you before, the Scarlet, Scorpion, Snowy combo. So you can actually run this to defeat it. Very, very well. Very works very well. I'm not going to show a battle report. It's basically the exact same thing. You, they just use a lot of combat skills. Scorpion layers on a shit ton of poison and they die. Other combos you can run with Scorpion, you can actually run Death Rider. So you can do something like uh, this, Death Rider, Snowy, Scorpion. This works really, really well. Again, Huntress can kill this though, but Death Rider in here makes it do absurd amounts of damage. Snowy's gonna keep them all alive. Death Rider has combat skills. You kind of get the picture, right? Now, like I said, he pairs up with basically anybody good. You can pair him up with Lust. You can do like this or this or that or this. You can put Profit in here. Whoops, well, I mean, you can't obviously get rid of Scorpion, but you could do it like this. You can put Cannon. You can put Tech Priestess. You can put Wrath. You can basically put anybody who's good. You can put Squirp, I mean, sorry, Shadow if you have him. This is fine. Go ahead and put Shadow. You can even do Scarlet. You can do Cannon. You can do HR. Shadow is going to be fairly good because just because he's in the back row and you nobody ever really uses Shadow in any other APC. So like if you just kind of have to, you know, you've ran out of other good heroes, you can plug Shadow in there. There's so many, so many good heroes. You can put Tech Priestess. This works as well. Um, Venom Walker. A lot of people are going to be asking about Venom Walker. A lot of people already have, I should say. Venom Walker also deals poison. So one of his abilities... Um, is poison. I forget which one right here. Uh, he curses, burns, and poisons. So this does actually stack with um, Scorpion, but you almost never need it because of the max stacks. Um, you can only stack three layers. So you almost never actually need that Venom Walker stack anyway. If you just do combat skills, if the other, if, if you replace Venom Walker with a hero that does combat skills, Scorpion's going to stack by himself. So you don't actually ever really need to run Venom Walker, but you can if you have nobody else. So yeah, Scorpion, like, I mean, t hell, you can do this. It works fine. I mean, it's not like going to be the best, but it's going to work well. You can do Iron Sentinel. It's just, it's just absolutely 
unreal how many combos work with scorpion it's unbelievable how strong he is he is by far the best hero in the game currently by far the best hero undisputed in the game there's literally like one counter basically there's a couple of other counters i guess death rider combos if you fully max like you know if, if you're stronger you have a lot of might you can beat him with full vehicle death rider combos like hr um organic death rider however again it's going to be rng if scorpion gets those layers on death rider he's just going to deal no damage huntress can kill him i even i even does actually okay you can run like um so i used to run uh kami anna ivan for a little bit when i was running um anna predator i mean sorry not anna kami panther ivan it's okay. It's a pretty bad combo, but it does decent against Scorpion, uh, against Siren Scorpion in particular, because you're going to be dealing a lot of damage to Siren. You can kind of kill her off, and then Scorpion's not as powerful. So that's kind of what what you want to aim with there. So that's why vehicles are are pretty good against that specific combo. However, if they swap it up and they put Heaven's Redemption, um, Scorpion, Cannon S, then you can't really beat it with um, vehicles. So then you want to beat it with uh, shooters. You actually, so bait, I mean, I, I'm kind of jumbling here. There's like, it, like this hero is honestly insane. There's so many freaking combos. It's very, very hard to explain how to utilize this hero. First of all, it's explain, It's hard to explain how to utilize this hero. It's even harder to explain how to counter this hero, but there are counters to this hero. I've tried to explain some of them. There's a lot more. The meta right now is very, very, very dynamic. Meaning, you might, you know, normally you just kind of have your five APCs or whatever, your four APCs, if you have three Bane Blades, your three, blah, blah, blah. You kind of just stick with those APCs and you just kind of roll out. You know, you're like, whatever, it works on attack, it works on defense, I'm just going to kind of use these. Now what's happening is there are so many like weird niche counters that people are running that, or that you should be running to get through bases that you really have to start swapping your APCs very quickly. So for example, sometimes I am running um, Scarlet Siren, Scorpion, Dawn, right? And I just said Kamikaze, Anna, sorry, Kamikaze, Huntress, Anna will beat this combination. If that starts to happen, then I mean, a very simple way is you just swap the order. So now Scorpion's in the back, you'll kind of get around this, but then if someone else comes in with Huntress, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. So what you can do is you can put someone like Heaven's Redemption. It's going to be okay. You can even put Scorpion up front. I know. I know what you're thinking. What? Nobody does that. But you can even put Scorpion up front against those kind of Huntress combos. This won't get as far because obviously Scorpion's not as tanky. But he does have that HP plus 15 on his sixth. So you can do stuff like this. If you're still getting beat by vehicles, you're going to want to flex in um, Heaven's Redemption Cannon. This is going to be uh, more tanky against vehicles. You're going to survive better against those vehicle-vehicle-vehicle combos. This combo still rips apart bases. But this combo can be countered by some other combos and so on and so forth. So it's like a huge wheel, very, very dynamic. The meta is extremely dynamic. It's very important now, at least in my opinion, if you want to play at the, you know, the highest echelons, you're really, you're competitive. You really, you want to fight, you like fighting. It's important to understand these heroes, like the back of your hand and really kind of know what you're doing to maximize how strong you are. Now, this video is getting long. I'm well aware, but that's Scorpion on a scale of 1 to 5. What do I rate him? Obviously a 5. Like I said, best hero. He's up here. All the other good heroes are down here. Like, there's a huge gap. Not, not huge, but there's a big, big gap. And then every other hero is way the hell down there. So Scorpion, if you don't have him on your base, um, honestly, at the moment, you're pretty weak. You can, like I said, you can get by. Totally fine. There's a lot of other strong combos, but without Scorpion... Um, you're just like a little bit weaker than people with Scorpion. So if you can get him, try to get him. Um, next, you know, next season he'll be in the pools of four. It's kind of it's going to be really important to save your tickets uh, to get Scorpion. So don't be like 
chasing after the last copy of Kamikaze or like the last copy of Nomad this season with a six hero pool. Nope, save them for these four, for these small four hero pools with Scorpion. Uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna thank yourself later for that patience. So that's it about Scorpion. Like I said, there's so much. There's just so many APCs with them. Try them all out. Watch the battle reports. One thing to note if you're watching battle reports with Scorpion is it's very, very important. And you're like, oh, dude, this combo just got absolutely wrecked by so-and-so. It's very important that you check the number of skills used. You can get battle reports with 40 plus skills used on Scorpion. When that happens, you're almost guaranteed to win generally. Uh, 30 is very common. Anywhere in the 30s is very common. If you do less than 30, or like less than like, let's say 25, that's a low skill used game if you're using the right combos. So if you have something like, oh, you did 13 skills and you got destroyed, either A, your, your guys are just getting like crazy CC'd, maybe unlucky, or you're just you're just not getting that RNG. You're not getting the, the coin flip poison um on his second ability so that's about it guys i know it's a long video hope you stayed through if you stayed through leave a comment down below saying hashtag banana i'll read them all i know y'all are the ogs the real ones sticking through all right guys that's about it i won't take any more of your time enjoy scorpion man while he lasts they never nerf people very very rarely do they nerf people so we're gonna have to try to figure out more and more and more and more ways to counter i got a lot Got a lot of counters in this old noggin of mine. I got to start posting on videos. So stay tuned, guys. All right. Take care. Have fun. Stay safe. Keep each other company. Keep each other warm. Keep each other safe out there. Be nice. Catch you guys soon. Peace. Wake up early mornings, late nights, hopping on a different flight. What's the meaning of life? Ay. Wake up, same ish, different day. Make a wish, call it pray. Am I sick? Am I okay? Ay. Stay up.